Hello, welcome to Unhelpful Yoda, and today we're going to do a room tour and channel discussion. Just kind of want to go over what kind of videos I'm going to be posting on the channel, and show some show off the room for now, just to have some kind of video with it. Uh, here you can see my front door to my living room. It has a lot of Mario stuff on it. Me and my wife both enjoy gaming quite a bit, so we've decorated the living room almost entirely in games. Uh, here's my Last of Us 2 poster big fan of the game. A lot of people aren't liking it, but oh well. Here is my Doom poster. Uh, got it from GameStop right before Doom got delayed the first time or second time. And here is a giant Yu-Gi-Oh poster. Uh, pretty excited to do some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh content soon. Uh, I think that'll be my next video, but not 100% sure. Uh, it kind of depends on when mail comes for a few packages I got. Uh, here's my dual disc and a movie quotes board. It's good movies on there. Let's make our way through. We have the amiibo up here. Uh, I have most of the Mario and Zelda and Pokemon ones, but like nowhere near all the Smash ones, so really gotta get on top of that. And then we have the TV. This is where I play most of my current gen systems or last gen depending on how you look at it. I got the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One X. And then we have the Wii U, the PS3, PS2, Dreamcast, and 64. Uh, got to get these systems hooked up to a different TV. They don't really work with my new TV. But <clears throat> Over here we have the PS1 collection. Um, not a whole lot of games, but some, some good titles. We got Chrono Cross, uh, Symphony of the Night is in here, uh, we got the Final Fantasy games, uh, Lunar 1 and 2, Tomb Raiders down here, uh, PS1's not my favorite system to collect for, so not a whole lot of games for it, some Japanese Dragon Ball Z games, uh, yeah, nice beautiful Joe figure in there, some family photos that we don't show for obvious reasons, and some PS2 games, uh, quite a large PS2 collection, at least compared to the rest of my collection. Um, yeah, I think I have Budokai Tenkaichi 3, you have the Metal Gear Solid collection, and the uh, Collector's Edition for 3. And just some more PS2 games. Down here we have a Google Stadia and an Xbox One S that's broken. We have a cat trying to get in the video. Here we have the Sega Master System, uh, recently purchased but haven't, don't have it currently hooked up. It doesn't work to the new TV, so I gotta get a new wire for it from my old TV. Uh, here's some wires. We have some a plug and play I recently got. This is our entire box just full of these plug and plays. I really like them. No one else really seems to care about them. Uh, up here we have the PS4 collection. Uh, I don't buy too many PS4 games or any current gen games really. I kind of prefer to wait till stuff is cheaper. I can get it used or get it at a discount. So very selective on what games I actually buy at full price. Two more toys. Here's the PS3 collection. Um, about a whole lot of like hard to find stuff on PS3. It's kind of just your general what you just own for the PS3, I guess. Um, but I do have a little bit more for this than I do the PS4, at least. Games has had some really good sales lately, so that's made it easier. And then up here we have the original Xbox. Again, not my favorite system. Uh, don't really have a whole lot. It's not even a full shelf. And then the 360. I do have a lot of 360 games. Um, I don't actually own a 360, but <laughs> I play everything through backwards compatibility in a sealed connect. Um, but yeah, the Xbox One plays almost all of these games, if not all of them, at least all the ones I've tried. Um, so that makes it way easier. I don't really need a 360 these days. And then this is the Xbox One collection. Again, not a whole lot for the Xbox One. I don't like buying new games, 
but I buy what I can. And we do have this Ori Collector's Edition. I was really excited to get. I'm pretty sure this came out on the Switch as well. But I found this one at Best Buy. Um, they had it clearanced out for like 30 bucks or something. So I'll pick that up. And then down here at the bottom is the Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. A uh, large amount of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. This is not all of them, but this is kind of the good bulk, I guess. There's the binders, all our deck boxes and decks, and just the bulk cards and sleeves. Uh, some play mats. Uh, this is where I film most of my videos, or well, my one other video and the videos I have filmed that I haven't posted yet. Um, here's Zombie Powder, uh, working on a video, like, retrospective on this, why it failed, and why people don't really remember it. Um, that's coming soon. This is where all my time's going, so really just getting a lot of quick videos right now. My computer, it's garbage. I don't even know if I could actually edit anything on it, but we'll find out soon. Uh, Harley Quinn and Joker painting. And up here we have the Tony Hawk Collector's Edition, and... The Street Fighter 4 PS3 arcade stick. Uh, over here we have a bunch of pops. Uh, I'm a big fan. They're cheap and they are serviceably looking. So I can get some weird stuff that you don't really find like better toys for. Like Secret Squirrel and Rock and Mole. Gotta have Secret Squirrel and Rock and Roll. And we have a Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong poster. Um, more pops up here. These are more of my anime ones. Um, and then we have the Genesis collection. Uh, not too many box games. Um, and then we have the loose games. A couple good ones here. I really don't like getting loose Genesis games, but I got these as a pot. And there are some expensive ones in here, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Batman and Robin, X-Men... So, there's some, there's some good stuff in here. So, couldn't pass that up. And then, we bought this at Too Many Games for My Wife. It's a Yu Yu Hakusho, the Genesis game. I believe this was a Japanese-only release, but they made it in English for, uh, like, a repro. So, picked that up for her. So, it's a pretty good fighting game. Nothing special, but <clears throat> if you like Yu Yu Hakusho, it's definitely worth it. Uh, down here, we have my Master System. Don't really have a lot of games for it yet. Recently bought the system, but... Uh, do have a Spider-Man game. Can't wait to play this as a gift. So, really gotta get the system hooked back up so I can play this. It looks, I like Spider-Man, so it looks fun. We have an empty Doom box for the 32X. I don't own this game or the system, but I have the box. The box looks good. One day, it'll be a full box. We have the Ninja Gaiden collecting, Collector's Edition statue. And down here we have... Saturn games, uh, just Knights and Virtual Cop. I don't own a Saturn, so these are just kind of there. We have the magnifying glass for the Game Gear, the keyboard for the Dreamcast, mostly for typing of the dead, and then we have the Dreamcast collection. Um, not a whole lot of games, again, but a lot of big titles like Bangayo's in here, um, Dynamite Cops in here, Egg is in here, so, Marvel vs. Capcom, Power Stone 1 and 2. Just a lot of good stuff in here. <clears throat> we have some NES drawers. I keep these empty. I don't really like putting my games into the drawers unless it's like bulk titles, and I don't really have a lot of NES games to begin with. We have the Marlin here. It's a little handheld game toy. And just some extra stuff. Some more extra stuff. And an Intellivision box. Um, box is terrible. It's absolute garbage. You can see it rips in it. But it's a box, and I can't really throw my, bring myself to throw it out, so you hold on to it. Here's where I keep all my portable systems. Uh, just a bunch of them in there. DS's, PSP's, Vita's, that kind of stuff. Balance board, some Game Gear games. Um, they're all loose games, so got them somewhere. And we have the Wii collection. Uh, I really like the Wii, but I, don't know, I have most of the games I want for it at this point, so... It's been a slow, it, it grew up real quick, and then I haven't really bought anything for it in like six months. So. And then as we move up, we have a 
complete Wii U collection. Uh, that's all 166 games on the Wii U. Uh, I'm missing a few cases, but every game. I think like three games aren't actually on this shelf because they're still in big boxes. I know Guitar Hero is one of them, and I think a Disney Xfinity or some shit. But yeah. And we have the box Genesis, two Switch boxes, a Wii box. There's the Disney Infinity, uh, Smash and Splatoon Wii U box, 64 box, and the Xbox One X box. It's a lot of boxes. Uh, we have the 64 set. Slowly working on a complete set, but for right now I have most of the games I want. Um, there's only a handful like Mario Party, I think three that I need. Um, but I have most of the games and basically all the good games. Some of the better games. You have the 64 drawer. This one I do have full because it's full of sports titles. Because no one plays sports titles, but you gotta have them for the set. And then down here we have some box games, and we have Smash Remix physically. Uh, a friend of mine made it and updates it for me, uh, so I'm up to the piano update, I believe. Really gotta check that out, it's been a little bit. Uh, here we have the Pokemon Mini system. Uh, it's a little handheld thing, but it plays some neat, weird games. It's neat, I only have one game for it right now, but it's gotta get the other, like, nine or something. Japan got some good games for it. Uh, here we have the Switch collection. I do have quite a few Switch games, despite missing basically every major release the Switch has done. Outside of a handful, I've missed like all the big games, but I still have a lot of Switch games for some reason. And yeah, the biggest Switch release, Night Trap, Collector's Edition. Gotta have this, it's a very important game. And down here we have the 3DS titles. Uh, not a huge portable gaming fan, mostly just play like the Pokemon and Zelda on it, but that's what we have there. And then we have some art books and game magazines, Donkey Kong bongos, very, very important item there. And we have some strategy guides, again, mostly Pokemon, um, quite a few Zelda ones as well. And then we have some up here, we have... Donkey Kong Country 2, Banjo Tooie, and my favorite one, the Earthbound Strategy Guide. Uh, it's, it's getting hard to find these days in good condition, so I was really happy when I found that for a reasonable price. Over here's just some extra stuff. The Intellivision games, um, my favorite one being Donkey Kong. I love seeing Nintendo games not on Nintendo, so this was a a cool game to pick up, and I'm a huge fan of Donkey Kong, so that just makes it even better. Over here we have the DS games. Uh, again, not a huge portable gaming fan, so just a handful, but again, mostly Pokemon. Uh, this is the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Um, they're just in a box, again, they don't really display well. So. And then we have some GameCube games. Uh, these are getting very expensive and hard to find these days so kind of have everything I want for it but not really expanding this collection too quickly anymore too expensive these days uh, got some boxed Super Nintendo games some of my favorite games there and some more and then just the rest of the Super Nintendo collection <laughs> And then we have some Nintendo figures, where Donkey Kong fell. Uh, some Famicom games. I love Toriyama's art style, so I was really happy to pick these up for cheap, just to display them. Uh, John Riggs' YouTube Wrestling. It's a fun little wrestling game. And just some more NES games. I don't have a huge NES collection, but I have most of the games that you kind of have to have, like the Marios and Zeldas. Um, there's some other stuff. Ice Climbers is one of my favorites there. Dracula's, Cur uh, Dracula's Curse, um, Dragon Warrior, kind of thing, but Dragon Quest, <laughs> DuckTales, some good ones in here. Ninja Gaiden, recently picked that up, really gotta get around to playing that again. Uh, over here we have my 2600 games. Um, my 2600 is actually broken, so I just have games for it now, but the games do go pretty far back, I do have quite a few. Um, 
you know, Donkey Kong Country 2 on Game Boy Advance. This is complete, and along with a copy of Golden Sun. Um, then we have the PSP games. Again, just not a huge portable gaming fan, but I do have more PSP games, I think, than anything except, like, the original Game Boy. So, we do have a lot of them, just, and I play it more than I do the DS, but just not a huge fan. And this is some import PSP games, uh, mostly just the Bleach anime games, and this one versus game. It's got Inuasha and Fairy Tail in it. It's the only two characters I really know, but it's a little, it's a fun little game. Not as good as J Stars, but it's decent. Also, I didn't mention that it J Stars, J Ultimate Stars, good games. Then we have some Vita games, uh, very small Vita collection. They're like impossible to find these days. My local game store like never even has them. I haven't seen one in there in like a year now. Um, so this is all I can find. But I do like the Vita. It's just I can't find any games for it. So here we have a Jack Jack. And some Star Wars figures. The floor figures. And then some larger Pokemon pops, at least a ten inch, a bell, some more Power Ranger toys, poster, some records wall some novels and manga uh, i really want to talk about some manga maybe some anime and some novels in future videos um we'll get to that over time i guess i, I just want to keep it mixing it up uh you have some records here and my cd collection uh, again i would like to talk music at some point but that's something that'll happen kind of as i get time and as videos go on it, again, just I just want to keep changing it. I don't want to do the same thing every week. So, you know, we'll do something different every couple of weeks and try to keep it mixed. Last week was gaming. This week's a room tour. Next week should be Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, we might actually get like three vi videos of Yu-Gi-Oh in a row, but they'll, I'll try to keep them all in like a week or two. And then move on to something else. Probably going to be the Zombie Fighter video next. Well, after the Yu-Gi-Oh video. Um, up here we have some singles. Uh, for a long time, this was the only way to get Silver Spring until like the CD came out. Um, but like back in the day, this was this was it. it wasn't actually on the Fleetwood Mac album. Uh, so that was that's just neat to have. Here we have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards we display. Um, mostly just our decks. Like she has Blue Eyes, Mermails, and Witchcrafters. Uh, I got my. Chaos Dragons and Dragon Link, Burning Abyss, so the tour guide, just Chaos Dragons still, Tunes, Sky Strikers, got some hand traps like Maxi and Ash Blossom, and then just some, some cool staples, you know, Desires, Judgment, and just some other good cards, Appaloosa. So, we just like to display some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Again, huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. Here's my CRT. And hooked up to it is the Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, and Genesis, along with the controllers down there. And here's the rest of my novels, or at least the ones in the living room. Uh, I keep more in my bedroom because that's where I usually do reading, but here's some of the other ones that I have. And then this is my old TV. Um, I plan on using it currently just to play like the PS2 and stuff. Right now the GameCube's the only one hooked up uh, until I can update everything to HDMI. So this is kind of like a just a stopgap until like everything changed over to HDMI to put on the big TV. <laughs> nice superhero carpet. Cats are destroying it. Here we have some plushies. Uh, we got uh, Blast Toys, some Disney ones, and Spider Man down there. We have a Miss Pac Man and a banjo over here. We have some posters, oh, yeah, the frame posters, uh, Pulp Fiction at the top there. Some, uh, some of my wife's pops, she likes Sailor Moon, so we have, I think we have the first original set, we have to get the rest of them now. Um, over here we have my wire bins, uh, more manga, card games that we play together that's not you can't relate it. Uh, just some other stuff, some more manga mostly, some comic books at the bottom there. Uh, I actually gave away all my comics like a year ago. Kind of just fell out of the hobby, but I kept some of the some of the bigger ones that I really like. Over here we have all the DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, big fan of physical media, so we just have a lot of movies. 
and TV shows, like season box sets and series sets, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of anime, uh, most of the Disney movies, um, and Pixar movies, like the animated movies, and uh, the Studio Ghibli ones, and some more toys up here. Uh, some more pops up here. <laughs> and then an entire top shelving set of uh, Pokemon and other plushes. Mostly Pokemon, but then we get some, some Mario and gaming ones. A tweak in the corner. Gotta love a tweak. Um, some more pops. Wonder Woman. Then we move into here. We got the Mario and Rabbids figure. Uh, this came with the collector's edition. And then we have the Ellie figure that came in the Last of Us 2 collector's edition. And we have some of the uh, bigger game titles I have. We have Earthbound. We have Princess Tomato and the Salad Kingdom. Worms Armageddon. Bomberman 64 Second Attack, Stunt Racer, and Sculptor's Cut, along with a Donkey Kong 2 uh, Game & Watch. Again, really big fan of Donkey Kong, so I was really excited to get this, and I like the Game & Watches, like the idea of them, you know? Too many games pass with some pins on it. Virtual Boy with a box copy of Wario Land, and a the new Game & Watch that came out this year for the anniversary. Along with a ukulele collector's edition and a Rob. Gotta love the Rob. Here's a closet. There's nothing in the closet. Uh, we have the Mortal Kombat 2 arcade machine. It's a one up arcade with Kurok seed on it. Um, my cat's kind of destroying it. But I do like it. It's a fun way to play the game. I um, really want to get more of them. I don't really have the room for more of them, but I would like to get more of them. The NBA Jam one looks great, along with the Marvel vs. Capcom. So. Here we have the Mario shoes and a Ghost Trick Jack winter collection advent calendar. Uh, still sealed, We just it just looks well. I like the Yu-Gi-Oh card on it, so got the Doctor Who poster, Pokemon poster, the Caratina movie, some little figures here, and Mario Brink autograph, and a Doctor Who autograph. Yeah, this is a uh, Billy Piper's autograph. So. Uh, met them in person uh, at a Comic Con. Well, the Philly Comic Con, whatever it's called. Uh, here we have the Pokemon shelf. Yeah, Pokedex, some Japanese games. Uh, the Switch, that's my wife's Switch there. Um, Sword and Shield, do, uh, two pack. The Steel Books for Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. A sealed pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Pokemon cards back there. I just kind of found it and had no reason to open it. Apparently, it's expensive, but no real reason to open that. Uh, just some figures, and here we have a Shantae shelf. Um, right now, it's kind of just stuff is clear, like really open right now. So there's there's three more collector's editions coming out from Limited Run that I ordered. So and once they get here, the shelf will be more full. So right now, I'm just kind of making. The space look full. We got the steel book, the big box, little game cart, the uh, soundtrack vinyl for the first game, a plush and a pot. Uh, but when the new ones come in, I'll really fill that out. And then down here, just some more collector's editions and display little displays. We have a Samus Figma. This this looks really cool. I like these a lot, but they're expensive. Um, we got Samurai and Kagura collector's editions. We have some Bendy and the Ink Machine figures, uh, Fire Emblem 30th Anniversary, finally on display after the opening a couple weeks ago. And we have the Engage Tomb Raider, along with a figure and a memory card, and these little coasters that I use to hold the whole thing up. And then down here we just have a Yu-Gi-Oh shelf, we have the Kaiba Collector's tin back there from way back in the day. Um, some more modern like sets and mega pins. And just some sets that we both like. This is uh, the Stry Stickers came in. Uh, Valkyries are in this one. Tunes. Uh, or Witchcraft that just came in there. Some structure decks. I uh, really like the Dino Fury structure deck. Like structure deck, that was really good. It's still good. <laughs> People are still saying ban this. So that, that deck has been around forever now. Uh, got the Yugi Nendroid. And recently got this. Uh, Kaiba Yugi, depending on how you look at it, thing uh, from uh, way back in the day. 
And then here we have the Kaiba uh, Power of Chaos box. Um, this has been going up in price. This is still sealed. Um, so the cards are still in it. But the blue eyes there has been just skyrocketing in value. So I don't really know what I want to do with it. I don't really like PS, uh, PC games. And I don't actually know if this game works anymore now. But nice sealed box. Found it for a dollar at a Goodwill. And it's been sitting around since. And down here we have just some more random stuff kind of tucked into the back. Game of Thrones Risk. Some little dorbs for pops that I couldn't find at the time. We got my uh, Nintendo and Super Nintendo Classic Editions. Uh, don't really use them. I prefer to just play on the CRT with the carts. But they're nice to have. They, they look good. And they work if you need them. Uh, we have some sealed games. We have Guitar Hero and Budokai. I really should just put these in with the game system that they belong to, but they've always floated around separately for some reason. We got a Doom PC expansion. That, I don't know. It looked cool when I bought it. Uh, Darth Vader helmet. And we have this little thing. I found this recently. Um, I don't know what a Digi is. But it's also shown for Imaginary Friends, the learning game for LeapFrog. Um, really like this show, and I'm, a, I'm just a big fan of cartoons. And I think learning games are neat to collect for. No one really cares about them, but I like to collect for them. I think they're fun. So, pick this up. Um, it's like a dollar at a Goodwill. It was cool. And we have my Marilyn Monroe, the Seven Year Itch. Uh, little picture there. Cecil the Turtle. And that's the room. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week with uh, probably a Yu-Gi-Oh video.